and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and I need your help. Um, I Earlier on this week I did the unboxing of Outside the Sweet Shop um, from Diamond Art Studio UK which is a painting with 197 colours. Um, a month or so ago, I actually thought I hadn't put this in my logbook, but I've realised that I have because uh, I've cut apart off a sticker sheet. Um, this is Walking in the Rain, which is 192 colours from Diamond Art Studio UK. I need your help on which one to kit up. I am swaying a bit more towards one than the other. Uh, but I do want your guys' opinion. Um, they are both very, they've both got very nice, bright sections. Um, and I absolutely adore both of them. But I only have one case that will take all the colours. So I want to kit up one of them to be a nice little slow going painting. I'm going to do small sections. I might even cut my cover paper in half so that it has a smaller section than normal because it's very, very colour heavy. I'm expecting it to be a bit more like my heaven and earth design. I want to kit it up in the next few weeks. Um, I think I might get my heaven and earth design at least finished before I start on it though I do expect the kitting up to take um, quite a big chunk to kit it up. So I want to sort of get it prepared. I've got the case, I've now unboxed both paintings, but I need your votes. So I want you to vote on this video. Do I do Outside the Sweet Shop or do I do Walking in the Rain as my first of these multicolours? I will end up doing both. But as I say, I've only got one case that can handle this amount of colours. So I want to be doing one before the other. I have got the canvases here. Uh, they currently lay on my floor. But this one is Walking in the Rain. And I will link to the artist down below so that you can go and check these out. Um, if the restock isn't in when this video has gone up, it's not that far behind so the last of the pre-orders and I think there's excess stock as well um, though they will continue to restock as long as demand is there they don't plan on just stopping um, so I will pop the link say to the artist down below there is a few other paintings that are more 90 colours than 190 plus colours but yeah, uh, uh, as I'm filming this, I'm not exactly sure of the dates. I know it's very, very soon. I've got a feeling that they're landing in the UK as I'm filming this, um, which is on the 7th. So I'm actually filming this the week before this video goes up. So they may well be on the website already. So this is Walking in the Rain. And... Oh, if I can pick it up, I say they're big, they're big. They're both 60 by 80. They're both in square. And I've just realised I didn't actually say that in this unboxing video. Go bad me. Um, they are both their new style canvas with the yellow symbols. And they're both just utterly divine. Um, the symbols hide, I think, a bit of the painting or a bit of the glory of the painting, because I've seen these finished, not in person, but I've seen pictures of these finished, and they look absolutely stunning. And to be fair, I kind of like that. I feel that a canvas that looks a little bit more bitty, while you can't see the glorified image when it's unboxed, you see it come to life that little bit more as you're doing it. Um, which is why I'm using these as a reference. 
because this is a lot more similar to, of course, what the image will look like. So on this one, we have quite a bit of rainbow all the way across. On this one, it very much focuses on this side, but they are both absolutely gorgeous. So please pop your comments down below. I'm gonna do a little bit of a tally and see which one wins. Say, so I am swinging more towards one than the other. Um, but I want to see what you guys want, which is why I'm not giving you big hints as to which one I prefer over the other. I want you guys to let me know which one you want to see kitted up and which one you want to see me potentially working on, um, on a whip and waffle. So these won't be stopped from a whip and waffle. Uh, it'll just be a different kind of whip and waffle. So I won't be doing it constantly each week. It'll definitely take a little bit more thought, but I'm more than happy to do a whip and waffle on these. Uh, but this one I expect to be kitted up for quite a while. Um, I'll pop it into my decision wheel. When it chooses this one, I will do one section and then I will move on to another painting. Um, that just allows my brain to switch off from the complicated uh, and move on to a different one. Though having said that, if I'm really enjoying it, I may do another section. Um, they, While they don't look hugely complicated when I look at them, and there are definitely some sections of flockiness on both of them. So here, there's a really big section here. Um, that isn't my light. That's actually this, the light in the image. Um, but that has like a really big blocky section. But then there are parts that is extremely confetti. And it's the same with this one. Uh, we have some sections on these roof parts that only look to have a few colours. But then we have things like the windows that have loads of colours. So um, it may depend on what sort of section I've worked on as to whether... I do more than one section or not. But anyway, it's going to be a slow burner. A bit like my Diamond Art Club mystery that's still going. I'm not even halfway through that one yet. That's my other slow burner. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. Do I do outside the sweet shop or walking in the rain for my first mammoth oh, over 190 colour painting? Um and that's going to be an epic kitting up, is all I can say. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and for giving your comments down below. And I'll speak to you all again soon.